There was a interview that I saw just yesterday with Richard Dawkins, and it was some Catholic scientist, he was a priest also, uh, I don't remember his name, but it was a really good interview, and I remember one of the questions that Dawkins asked was about why he was so convinced of his own faith traditions in Christianity rather than those in, uh, you know, Islam or, you know, Buddhism because the guy said that if he had grown up in countries where those religions were prominent, then he'd probably be those faiths. So, you know. And the thing I wanted to say about it, and he said this a little bit, but he didn't go as far as I think I would, is that each of these, a lot of faiths, a lot of them have uh, a piece of truth to them, and then usually that truth comes in the form of love, uh, the love of God, and not only to love God, but to love people around you to make their lives better and how that makes your life better and uh, never try to go out of the way to harm anybody. And these things are in a lot of religions and I think that's a, that's a, that is a piece of God and that's somebody that's been inspired by something of God. And while they may not have everything, everything else right, they've got what really is important, what really matters. And so, what I would say is, why am I... Because I would say the same thing. I'd probably be Muslim if I'd grown up in a country where that was accepted. And I hope I'd come to similar conclusions I have with Christianity and the stuff about love. But uh, what I would say is that the traditions we build around it aren't necessarily so important. One of them may be right. And I, that's what I like to think, is one of them is more correct than the other. Uh, I like to think that Jesus rose again, whether he did or not, necessarily isn't that important to me. Uh, because I, I, don't, I don't see that it's necessary for him to rise again. But uh, I believe it because it is my faith tradition. I grew up with it, and uh, it doesn't take anything away from God. But I don't think it's what's important. I don't think it's what's vital to knowing God. And I think you can you can come to know God through these other religions too. And I also think you can miss God completely in the Christian religion. Whether you you say you're a born again Jesus believing Christian or not, you can miss God completely. And I think that's the point. Religion and the traditions behind it have you know, the, these, their compounded thought of what different people have thought about God over the years. And we create these traditions behind them, behind that thought. That's not a bad thing. But what's important is the journey that we take ourselves in finding God. And hopefully those people they found God to, hopefully we will find God. And hopefully we'll do what he would want us to do if he exists. All right, that's a little bit of an update. A little bit of Theo update. Alright, see you later.